All right, so I've got a new layer that I need to blend in, but maybe there's a lot I don't want. So what I'm going to first do is I don't necessarily want to use just all of this. So I'm going to take the opacity down on that layer a little bit. And I want to use a lot of this tree. So I'm just going to erase out on the layer on top of it. And kind of remind myself that I want that kind of cool tree. It's in my sketch. It's one of the focal points I want to keep. Then I can push this opacity back up. Okay, and say that's where that tree is. Now I can kind of blend that in to this environment a little bit. So we've got water, we've got moss and stuff. <laughs> Probably have other layers that are gonna, gonna impact it. So as we get closer and closer to the foreground, the edges you retain are more and more important. You just don't take them for granted. You start deciding where your borders are. So instead of trees and mountains in the distance, this becomes kind of the foreground um, grassland. But I do need it to cover up these big leaves, right, which are, are not a foreground I want. Okay, now let's try to get rid of this white. I'm going to use my magic wand. I'm at 32. I'm going to add to it, make sure I get all of that so I can erase from it without too much concern. First at 100%. And then as I get a little bit closer to it, maybe up more like 70%. So I can always hit it multiple times. Okay. And now we get to play with Adjustment levels. Oh, I can fix this guy over here too. Magic wand, hold down shift, add to it, try to get all those blues, all those brights, and then erase. Even if you're using a lower opacity eraser like I am, right now it's a 64 opacity. If you hit it multiple times, you're lifting up your stylus each time. It will, you know, reduce all of it eventually. All right. And now this is going to make a big difference. The adjustments, the levels, though it's about right in terms of the coloring. And the lighting's not bad. That's why I tweak this a little bit. And it's mostly the highlights I'm worried about. I was going to take the highlights down, limit those a little bit. And then a lot of it's going to be the highlights of the um, these yellow accents. So now I'm going to go to image adjustment, color balance, and I'm going to push away from yellow a little bit. 
not too much of the midtones, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go to highlights and really push away from yellow. See what that does. And it's really more the reds, it looks like, in the highlights that are problematic. And it's just all about subtlety. Put some blues back in the shadows. Try some red in the shadows. There we go. Let's see. Oh, that didn't seem very dramatic. Yeah, it's pretty subtle. So I'm going to have to take care of these just by blending them with the eraser at 64% opacity. I'm just going to kind of take those yellows out, knock them back, let the background show through. Now, if I really want an accent like this tree branch, I'm going to go smaller with my eraser, more opacity, still soft edged, and I'm going to kind of cut it out to the shape I want. But again, fantasy concept art and compositing is not about fine detail. It's about giving the tone and the atmosphere that's suggestive. Because speed is usually what you're hired for. Just cleaning up. That little bit of softness helps. And now I'm going to take it back to a slightly lower opacity still fairly small and then just finish this up. And I really do recommend the stylus here so you have pressure sensitivity. And then a little later on I'll show you how we can kind of add mist on and atmosphere over the top of everything to help blend everything together so we don't get hung up in little details. Uh, sometimes I cut away too much. Okay, zoom out every once in a while, kind of see what the, the overall effect is. All right. And then I'm going to try levels again. So the whole thing, I'm going to try to take off the edge of the highlights. Yeah, and that's not too bad. Okay, now next, save it. Now I've got the trickier stuff that's going to make it post-apocalyptic. So this debris, <coughs> I'm 
This is where I want to use contiguous and I want some clean cutouts on this horizon line. Unfortunately, the, the fuselage of that airplane is very similar to the sky. So I have to use my lasso, hold down the option button to minus it out, and then subtract that from the selection. Like so. It's okay if it's a little dented. Then I go back to the magic wand, I get these little undercuts. Little windows peeking through. The lasso. And then hit delete. So there we have some debris. Now I'm going to have to clear the ground. Hold down shift. Contiguous is turned on. So I can really control what gets erased as I go. Just keep adding to it. And so much of compositing is just making good selections, being able to control your selections. So being able to add and subtract from them is very important using Option and Shift with Selection Tools. Shift to add, Option to take away. And if you want to go back a step in your selecting, you can hit Command Z while you're selecting. And if any time you just need to deselect everything, just hit Command D. I like to do it in little sections like that, then hit Command D and see how I'm doing. And I'll get impatient, especially when the deadline's looming and I'm trying to go fast. And I won't be as careful as I probably should. But right now I just want to take a bulk of this ground away. Without losing some of the cool stuff. In the foreground. All right, so you see how that's that back line that helps a lot. Now I'm going to change it to, well, let me keep going. Try to get a lot of this ground away, but not letting it get into my rubble pile too much. At least my my chosen focal points. So when it does, like here, I have to use the lasso and then hold that option and minus from the selection before I hit delete. Hold down shift, get a lot of this. And it's cool, they're gonna be like leaves and debris floating on the swamp. And I'm using the selection tool to really break up the edge. But if I had contiguous turned off, it would select all the little rust spots in my debris as well. And that wouldn't work so well. All right. Almost ready to play with levels mess with that and try to get it to kind of sink in without having to do a lot of manual selecting. Already huge improvement. Okay, now image adjustment levels. Let's take some of that highlight away. Though I do want it to brighten up a little bit more in the foreground. That helps. Okay, and now coloring, color balance. Shift it a little away from yellow, a little away from the reds, a little bit towards the green. Highlights, let's put some of the yellows back. Shadows, let's put some of the blues in and greens. Little side. 
All right, so that helps.